Morning, everyone. It's uh, Wednesday morning, the 21st of April, and this is your pre-opening comment. It's video number 722. And I remind you, if you like the work, please hit that subscribe and notification button so you don't miss any of these. And uh, just a reminder, um, it looks like we'll do our Zoom call uh, around noon. I will put the uh, invitation out. Um, on Discord and uh, uh, maybe through WhatsApp also, uh, and anybody who uh, feels like coming to talk about individual stocks and charts is more than welcome. Okay, so Asia's down and Europe's up. Japan, for the second day in a row in the pre-open, is down 2%, which is a chunk. That was, was down 2% yesterday morning at this time also. Uh, earnings. We had Verizon with a beat top and bottom, uh, but the stock is doing nothing. In fact, it's down a quarter at 58.14. Uh, CSX was a miss. Uh, it's doing very little of anything. 97.85 down 60 cents. Um, NEE, uh, Next Era. Uh, missed on uh, revenues, beat on earnings, 79.20 down at $1.33, 1 1.7%. And Halliburton beat both top and bottom, 2020 up 39 cents or 2%. Um, as you all know, uh, Netflix had a um, miss on uh, subscriber growth and net ad revenues uh, they have initiated a five billion dollar uh, buyback stock buyback uh, but the stock is still hanging right where it was last night 502 and a half down 47 or eight and a half percent asml uh, ASML is a uh, semiconductor building company. They beat top and bottom line, uh, 640.12 up 23.18 or 3.76. And well built, being bought by Middleby. Carl Icahn is a big holder in well built. Uh, it looks like uh, 0.124 shares of MDD for each share of well built, uh, which is equal to <clears throat> just under $21, and that's pretty close to where it's trading already. Uh, futures are lower. Uh, I've seen the Dow futures actually up on the day right now they're down 60 nasdaq is down 65 on the weight of uh, netflix and a few others in sympathy and the s p is down uh, about eight dollars so nothing overwhelming there chart on the screen is the oil which tried to rally and break out yesterday and did not uh, it got up as high as uh, 64.38 and came crashing down uh, it, it actually bounced off the low and closed mid-range, but has followed right back down to the downside today, making a lower low. Uh, I'm going to say $60 looks like uh, where it should be supported, uh, but we'll see. Uh, the gold is continuing to build here. Uh, looks like it... Uh, Looks like it is trying to consolidate and move higher. We had another higher, high, higher low versus yesterday's lower high, lower low. Um, and uh, we're trying like crazy to be uh, buyers here, but uh, I really need to see us see what happens versus this 1805 for the 100-day uh, moving average. Uh, our trader, Dennis, uh, has told me he's looking for, in order to see this much higher. Uh, in other words, maybe test the highs. Uh, he needs to see a close over 1810 on Friday. <clears throat> and I just want to point out the lumber again real quickly. We went limit up, limit down yesterday. Uh, as I explained, this is uh, fairly typical of a blow off, especially when you have the um, when you have uh, the uh, extended move to the upside with a decline in 
open interest. That means that uh, the rally to the upside is short covering, and uh, generally that ends exactly the way that this one did yesterday. All right, everyone, uh, have a good day. Uh, don't forget uh, to check Discord and your WhatsApp for uh, the invitation for the Zoom call at noon, and have a good morning.